Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Good morning and welcome to today. Today is only Saturday. And today we're headed out. You guys saw we had a party last night. I always think it's gonna be easy to video when we have people over, but it never ever is easy because there's never a time like it's either I'm with you guys or I'm with them. So anyway, I did my best and it was so fun. People did sleep over and just left now and it is already in noon and we're headed to the barn. I told you guys we have some stuff that we have to do today with the boys because it is so weak. Alright Sophie, tell them what you were going to tell them. Um, if I had one wish, I would wish the for days not to be dead. Yeah. So we were just talking about like how amazing Dalmatians were. Everybody loves Daisy. All the people that came yesterday were like, where's the Dalmatian? We want the Dalmatian. And they all just love her. She's just so sweet and so kind and so gentle. I have something in my eye. Anyways, welcome to today. Sorry that uh, yesterday's video was late, but that's what happens sometimes when you're busy living and having a party. We had so much fun. At one point we had about 24 people here at our farm and it was just all the people that you guys know from the past like my sister and my other sister and my nieces and my other sister and just so many people and it was just so much fun and my kids and just oh, it was just awesome you guys like so good after COVID like during COVID we didn't get together with anybody we hardly saw anybody and we just kind of fell into that rut and probably that happened to some of you guys too so it was nice we're back we're back you guys we're back with our family and we're back doing fun things and this is a summer of fun things so anyways um today we're headed to the barn and we'll explain it all to you when we get there we'll see you guys in a minute it's scorching out here it's windy so it saves us but it is humid you looked at me when i got it yeah i can't even tell like two what horses oh there he is two horses in the field and one is chubby and one is getting chubby so every time we miss a couple of days it's always like a surprise to come back and see how chubby he is because he's like doing so good so that's him that's the one i can tell the other one's got two white legs in the back too look at they're like twins we have twin horses see the white on the back but yeah, look at that boy, it's getting chunky. He likes his food. You're so handsome. <laughs> He's like, I can't leave my food. Yeah, I can't, he just doesn't leave. So it's true, a Chino does like the girl that's next to his paddock. Sophie, Gabby's been telling me that. But anyways, hi, he sees me. He's excited, he hears me. He's like coming. Uh, so Gabby had other, oh my gosh, who the heck is messaging me? Gabby had, Gabby got invited to go somewhere and do something really fun, something that she really wanted to do and I really wanted her to do it. So today I told her I would come to the barn and do the things that she has to do, the thing that we're doing today with our horses. So hopefully I can do the thing. So I did it. I got Chino. <laughs> I did it! I literally have to give props to Gabby because it was actually hard getting her horse. Now he's like, I'll just stand in this nice cool barn. Come on, we have another nice cool barn. Oh my gosh. Chino. <sighs> Come on. Don't make this harder than it has to be. This is why only one person should never just take care of a horse because now Chino doesn't listen to me because <sighs> Gabby's the only one who handles him. Always the only one. Listen. No, come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> no, come on. Listen. Oh my God, this is awful. I swear he just smiles. That was not that fun, but I did it. You guys know, like a couple of years ago even, I would not have even tried to get her ginormous horse, like he's a ginormous horse out of the field. And even years ago, she only rode little horses and now she's got this giant horse. A nice looking cushion. Yeah. Yeah, like, hi handsome. And you can see these little dirt things that don't come off. Oh. It's well, dried dirt that doesn't come off with any brush. Well, you gotta scrub it with your finger now then. Don't scrub it too hard with that. What is that? It's all mud. Oh. Sweat mud. Mud and sweat. 
Yeah, you gotta get a different brush. I started with the shedding blade, but then I couldn't get here because it hurt too much. So uh, this is the part of our barn experience where I just sit down and have a rest while Gabby and Sophie tack up their horses, but there's no Gabby here today. So Sam, you have to clean Gabby's horse. No. I'll have to clean Gabby's horse. Anyway, so you guys know that the last week I've been saying that we're having our massage therapist come, or meeting our oh, massage therapist today. To Through a series of unfortunate events, we keep on having to reschedule. So, so she's coming for sure today, and we're really excited. It turned out to be perfect. You know how sometimes like when things don't work out and don't work out, and then all of a sudden they work out, and you're like, wow, I'm glad they work out like that. It worked out because it is show week for so for Gabby, and next week is show week for Sophie. Hopefully, we don't know if we're showing them yet, but we're gonna try. And um, oh, they're getting the massage just before the show, and I think that is such a perfect timing. It's not really anymore because But this is the most droopiest lip. I know he has ever the been. droopiest lip. Just today, right? You were falling asleep. Well, you don't have food. You just fell asleep. Did he run? Do anything exciting? No. He <laughs> He just stood with you? Yeah. yeah. He went to smell the arena like normal. It seems as though, look at how dark he looks in this in this picture. Like, let me get a picture. Here, move out of the way there, Sophie. I'll get like a little picture of him. He's getting so fat. I love it. Well, he's not fat yet, but he's getting there. Well, I, a month. My friend said that he's getting, getting really close. She's a horse expert, and she said that he's getting really close. Probably a month, and he'll be like a perfect weight for him. Because we don't want him too fat. But anyways... I love that color of him. I love that you wore green. You should wear that t-shirt when you ride. So anyways, our massage, we are waiting for our massage therapist. This is how it'll be her first time meeting Chance. And it'll be Chino's. Yeah. Oh, what chance is loving his massage. <laughs> Look at his lip. <laughs> He's like, I can hardly hold it here. <laughs> you like a massage, Chance? He's like, keep doing it. <laughs> Look at his leg. She's massaging his bum and his leg is just swinging back and forth, back and forth. He like, loves this. I wonder if he had like massages and chiropractor on the track. He probably did like every week or something to keep them in good shape. His head is swaying, he's like, yeah, this is the life. <laughs> Look at his lip, he just loves this. You're welcome. I know it's not your birthday. When is his birthday? How do we not know when his birthday is? We did find out. Yeah, it passed. Oh yeah, just passed just before we bought him. I love Sophie in green. It's like such a sign, like I think she looks good in green, and Chance looks good in green. I like him in blue, too, though. Chance is blue. So we're still going with the massage on Chance, and he's still enjoying it. He gets the day off today, the rest of the day, and they both have to get tomorrow off, and then we'll be back to normal on Monday. Look how shiny Chino is. Rain. Oh boy. Even Chino, even Chino loves a good massage. Like this is such a good thing to give to your horse. Look at him. He's like, oh, yes. Chance <laughs> is over there still stretching his neck. Yeah, so our massage lady, she told us that, so her opinion. I'm gonna tell you guys our massage therapist's unbiased opinion through a red horse. So anyway, she said that she absolutely loves Chance. She thinks that he's so gentle, so old beyond his years, so calm. She also was telling us like, 
that when horses are show like are on the track, horse race race horses don't get to be babies for very long. Like they grow up so fast and, and maybe that's why he's such an old soul. She said he's like such an old soul. Like he is so sweet and so kind. She thought he was lovely and that he's gonna be perfect for Sophie. And then I showed her some video of him moving and stuff. And she said he's a big mover, but he looks good. She also said that about his weight, like you guys know he was like, his weight when we got him and then within a couple of days he had lost a little bit of weight because of her dynamics trying to fit in and then he started to build up again and stuff and she said now his, she thought his weight looked really really good and that a lot of people feel like horses are skinny when they're actually the perfect weight and I have other friends that are like big in the show circuit that say the same thing and that she thinks that he's fine we want him to get a little bit bigger but she thinks that he's doing great at his weight now Apparently this is cute <laughs> because it loosens all the muscles in the back and it's good for them but they don't usually hold it there that long. Yeah, he liked it. He's like, let's do it again. We are done. My legs are aching because I painted their feet. I did their feet. Getting their feet all ready for... Wow, you pooped everywhere, dude. She really relaxed you. So anyway, our massage girl loves him and thinks he's the kindest horse she's ever met. She thinks he's perfect for Sophie. He is the kindest horse we've ever Yeah. She said that she had a horse just like this when she was young and like so kind. She even looked at his teeth. I'm like, what, you don't believe he's five? And she said, she, he's not five. <laughs> she said, even though he's for sure five, she said there's no way he can be five because he's just so calm. Normally horses aren't really good with people looking at their teeth. Yeah. And he was just like, okay. Stay. Was like, literally, he does nothing. Like, he's just such a good boy, you guys. So, we're going to take our horses back. Pray for me. Hey. Right. We're going to take our horses back and uh, feed them because the girl already, the feeding girl already came. So, we're going to feed them before we go home. We missed a huge storm. Did you guys see that storm? It like poured here, which means more grass cutting. <laughs> so this is Chance. There's a ton of grain in there too. I just dumped the bucket, but this is Chance's dinner. This is Chance's dinner. Sit, whoops, Sophie's like, that is way too much food for my horse. It's all, mostly beet pulp, you guys. Like there's a lot of supplements and stuff there. Yeah. Well, you can't give him the grass. There you go. It's like, that's my supper. So there's like, I told you guys before, I can't even remember everything. He gets some special grain. He gets a vitamin grain. He gets um, beet pulp, a lot of beet pulp. He gets, I better bring some more beet pulp this week. He gets oil, he gets salt, he gets an ulcer therapy and he gets a probiotic and I think that's it. And there's Chino, so I had to put him in here. Hey, don't you spill it. It's actually crazy how much your horse listens to you and believes in you and like gets used to you because Chino is so good for Gabby, but holy man, he like, I had to make him walk backwards 10, 10 times just to get him to this, to this barn. <laughs> Also, the stuff that I put on their feet is, I showed you guys that pine tar stuff. I love it. It's not drying, and Chance's feet are a little tiny bit dry. Occasionally, he gets like little chips. So, I find that stuff works so good, that pine tar. I've been putting on all of our horses' feet. They are their feet, I feel, knock on wood, are better than they've ever been before. Don't you know that you're beautiful?